One of the People's National Party's representatives, Patrick Roberts, was recently arrested and charged by the police. He is scheduled to appear in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on June 24, 2021. Mr. Roberts is a famous businessman, producer, and counselor. He is the local government representative for the Malines Gardens Division and also the CEO of Shopping Vibes Production. He was charged with some false related charges in relation to documentation and planning to take items under false pretense. He was later released on a $300,000 bail. There has been no comments forthcoming from Mr. Roberts or his attorney. It should be noted that in the past, this politician has tried unsuccessfully to remove Prime Minister Andrew Holness as the Member of Parliament in the West Central San Andrew constituency. However, he has found himself on the wrong side of the law before as well. He was charged in April 2010 with illegal possession of a dangerous tool after his licensed dangerous tool was seized from a dangerous individual who reportedly engaged the police in a shellings incident in Waltham Park in Kingston. Mr. Roberts at the time had mentioned to the police that he was not aware that his dangerous tool had gone missing. The charge was subsequently dropped as it was determined that a successful case could not be built against Mr. Roberts. Following a ruling by the DPP, Paul Llewellyn, he was later charged with failing to renew the permit for his dangerous tool and causing the loss of a dangerous tool through negligence. The only conflagration truck that is available in the parish of Trelawney was destroyed in a serious conflagration last Thursday. However, no professionals or any other individuals were harmed. According to the Acting Assistant Commissioner at the Jamaica Conflagration Brigade, Ebanks, the truck was being used to extinguish a serious bush conflagration in Georgia near the closed Long Pond Sugar Factory. The truck was out of water while it was responding to the bush conflagration. Mr. Ebanks could not provide any further details on this serious incident. It was also mentioned that the JFB will be moving hastily to find a replacement for this unit in Falmouth, Trelawney. Man was found near a shallow area in Kitson Town. Police investigators from the St. Catherine North Police Division are currently investigating the discovery of a man. It is believed that this man is Lloyd Grant, who has been missing for more than one month. He was found in a shallow area in Baz District near Kitson Town. Based on reports, close to 2 p.m. on Thursday, persons who were engaged in a search for this man stumbled upon a shallow area. They alerted the police. Mr. Keith McCook, who is the counsel for the Red Hills Division, was surprised by this discovery. He said that he would await the outcome of the police investigation before making any comments. Three persons have been taken into police custody in relation to a double loss of life in the parish of Portland. Three individuals have been arrested in relation to the dangerous loss of life of a couple in Manchineel, Portland on Wednesday. Portland Police Division's Superintendent Dwayne Wellington mentioned that these three individuals were taken into police custody late Wednesday. Mr. Linville Lindsay and his wife Annette were found at separate locations in the district of Barracks shortly after 5 a.m. Mr. Lindsay was reportedly issued some serious and caustic statements on May 10th during an altercation with an individual. The person who allegedly issued that serious statement is among those who have been taken into police custody and are currently behind bars. Police team in the area are advocating for the cooperation of residents who may have information that could assist them 
in their investigations. They're asking for these persons to share this intelligence with them. Portland has the distinction of being the safest parish, and of course, their intention is to keep it that way. The man was found with a serious hole to the back area and other upper areas. He was found approximately 130 meters from his home. Several accessories were recovered near the man. During a search of the house, the police found his wife on the floor with several hurt to the face. A dangerous tool was also taken from the scene. The police believe that this dangerous instrument was used to cause harm to the lady. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Let me know what you think about all the matters that have been discussed in this session. Be safe, remain vigilant and remember that your security is your top priority. Have a good day. Goodbye.